Hi everyone! Today I just want to give you a couple notes about this week's reading. So first of all, you have a PDF um, from, uh, it's a scanned excerpt from this book which is called um, What This R Cruel War Was Fought Over and it's by Chandra Manning. Um, the, the excerpt that is scanned is actually longer than you have to read, okay? The excerpt is the intro and the, the first chapter, so it's actually 51 pages. You only need to read the introduction to this book, which is um, 1 through 18, okay? If you do choose to use this book for one of the um, secondary sources for your um, poster project or your research project that we're calling it, um, I encourage you to look into the first chapter and to continue reading because there's a lot of good stuff there. It just didn't want to make you read um, an extremely long reading this week, so I cut it down. So, um, this book is actually one of my favorite books about the Civil War because there, I mean, I have quite a few here, but um, because I feel like a lot of the Civil War books talk either about... Um, the battles, which we hear a lot about, and we uh, they're very famous in movies, and a lot of um, uh, historians, both amateur and professional, love to talk about Civil War battles, and also because of how many, um, like, the extreme number of deaths that happened during the Civil War. Or they talk about Abraham Lincoln and um, how he dealt with the war, so it's a very top-down. This is, as we talked about, a very much a bottom-up history, um, and it deals with two things. It deals with soldiers, both in the North and the South, and slavery. But it's not dealing with like the concept of slavery or how slaves were treated or anything like that. It's how soldiers perceive slavery and how their perceptions of slavery changed over the course of the war. Okay, and there's. It, I think it's a great topic because um, you get to see a lot of perspectives from a soldier's point of view, which there were so many soldiers that participated in this war, um, but we don't necessarily get their perspective very often. Um, and you also get North and the South combined, which I think is kind of unusual. We usually get one perspective, either the North or the South. Um, she really does an excellent job of kind of balancing both and explaining both's perception um, of slavery because they're very different. The North perception and the South perceptions of slavery are extremely different at this time. Also, this is a war fought over slavery, right? But most of the people that were actually doing the fighting did not own slaves. Um, obviously, none from the North owned slaves and many of those um, young men had never even met an African-American person when they went to war. Um, additionally, the majority of Southerners did not own slaves. Um, it was a very small proportion of Southern families that even owned five or more slaves, much less this idea of slavery that we have, these huge massive plantations that have hundreds of slaves picking cotton. That was a very rare um, situation to be living in, and those people often could get out of fighting the war because they had to take care of their business at home. So um, this is giving us a perspective of the common guy that had to go fight this war that may not have um, directly affected his life and how they mentally dealt with that issue um, by... And I think, I'm, I don't want to give anything away because I think it's, she does it such a beautiful job of explaining it, but think about issues of slavery, obviously, of manhood, of what, and what's connected to those things. Like, especially manhood is, how is it connected to one's duty or how others perceive of men at this time? Think about those sorts of things when you're reading her introduction. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I, I really love this book. I think it's utterly, I think it's really interesting and powerful uh, way of looking at the war. And next week we're going to be doing another book which I haven't actually gotten to read a portion of yet. So I'm really excited, but it's about, it's actually about death. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, the Civil War is a pretty sad topic. So I apologize for that. But I also hope that you, there are, there are many uh, people that are interested in the Civil War. So I hope you enjoyed that aspect of it. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who's participating in the extra credit. Um, 
when I taught this class in class last year, I actually showed 12 Years a Slave. Um, it is, I think, an extremely excellent portrayal of slavery um, in that it doesn't shy away from the, the horrific aspects of slavery. Um, when I first saw the film, I, uh, I had a very emotional reaction to the film. Um, and so I apologize if you all our viewer are experiencing that, but I highly, if you, you have the ability to continue adding to that uh, extra credit if you'd like later in the semester, up until the end of the semester, and I highly encourage you to watch it because I think that um, it's quite effective, and sometimes reading about a subject can kind of give you a little distance from it and doesn't make it as real, whereas I felt, for me especially, um, the experience of seeing the horrors of slavery on film or in uh, the film um, was more, um, it, it gave me a different perspective of it and made it more real. Um, and so no matter, you know, sometimes no matter how many primary sources you read on a topic, it you have this ability to kind of create distance and, um, you know, not experience it. In, in the same way as watching it. So I hope I encourage you to do that because I think that slavery is such an important part of our history that we should remember and um, and uh, for its, for how horrible it is because it's something we shouldn't try to escape from. And so and I believe this film does a beautiful job of showing it, um, but it does have a, a fairly nice ending. So you can look forward to that after the long film of horror. but, Please, if you get for your final project, um, and thank you again. I know we've had two very long weeks that deal with um, paper writing and the sourcing, so I'm grading, grading, grading. I'm going to get you all that stuff back, and I uh, will also be giving you more information about the final project in the up next coming weeks. Next week, we'll have nothing due because we'll enjoy Thanksgiving, and then we'll have one more week of work, and then your final project will be due. So we are coming to the end, which is frightening because it's gone by so quickly, but um, please enjoy the reading, and I will, if you have any questions, email me, and I will hopefully talk to you all soon. Have a great week. Bye.